Important information about a vector layer can be accessed through its statistics and these can be obtained using the basic statistics for field tool which you can search for in the processing toolbox. By opening this tool simply select the layer you would wish to calculate statistics for. Now it is important to note that statistics can only be run on numbers. So for example I would like to run the statistics tool on protected areas. I can then select a field to calculate these on, for example, the GIS area. I can also select if I'm going to save this file as a temporary file or a permanent file. Running the tool will give me a lot of meaningful statistics. This will be written to the interface to the window and you can also access this using an HTML link. Now here, for example, I ran statistics on the GIS area field within my layer. There are 359 individual entries or features or entities within this layer. There are no entities here within this layer that have no area that describes them. The minimum area is 1.45 hectares. The maximum is 275,000 hectares and therefore you have a range as well. It sums the entire surface area of each individual protected area as a total. The average hectares are just under 8,000 hectares in size. The most common value of any protected area is 678 or roughly 680 hectares in size and so forth. So quite a lot of useful information for you there that you can calculate on any field that is accessible in an attribute table. And just one last note is that while you can calculate statistics on text, the output is not necessarily meaningful. For example, let's run statistics on the site type. And as you'll see is that while you do get statistics back, for example, the maximum is the World Heritage site, that in itself is fairly meaningless because this is a nominal description of a feature so the basic statistics for field tool should only really be run on numbers and not text. So you should run this on interval and ratio data and not on nominal and ordinal data.